Hello everybody, this is Devin from Hack the Sur here, also Arcade Sided, still trying to get that channel back, but um, what I am doing for you guys today, it's, as you can see, I am working on this arcade machine, this is my arcade machine, it has a bit of a monitor issue, I was working on the monitor uh, Wednesday, you know, and uh, it has this issue with the degausser, I'm not sure what's wrong with it, but every time I shut it off, but one thing I have an issue with is degaussing the monitor. How did I, how did I do it correctly? And most people in the arcade community would use a degausser coil or wand or something. Well, I found a surprising method actually that will degauss your monitor, and this works for any monitor: computer monitor, uh, TV, an arcade monitor. This is especially the best way. And this is the best way to do it for pretty much almost nothing. No money at all. And um, I searched up the uh, degals ring. And that's like 60 bucks, even higher. So screw that. I already pay enough for the uh, you know monitors and all that. So what do I do? Well, the best way, from, in my opinion, to test out whether the monitor is degals, the best game is Dig Dug. So... You can see there is discoloration right here and all right here. So what I'm going to do is actually, you need a speaker. I'm actually going to go ahead and cut the game real quick. But you actually need a speaker. This speaker in particular is an arcade speaker. Now, I'm not entirely sure if every speaker will work, but any of you in the arcade community especially... If you have a speaker like this, it'll pretty much work. And it may work for any speaker. Now keep in mind, a speaker is pretty much like a degauss, a degaussing magnet, and a degausser. What I mean by that is it can actually cause distortion and get rid of it. So here, here is a CRT TV that I have. You can see it's also got arcade games on there. Watch what happens. So you can see, actually, if I can get it, well here, I'll do it and I'll film it. There we go. Now it's all purple. Everything's wrong with it. The colors are distorted and it is just wrong. So, what we'll do now is we'll take the other side and we'll actually rub it on the monitor, the tube itself. Now you don't have to rub it, you can just tilt it around. Look at that. Perfect. So now, like I said, if you're in the arcade community, uh, like I said, the best game to do is Dig Dug. Go to Dig Dug and start it. We're going to keep this. We'll keep it on there for a bit because this is an arcade monitor. 25 inch. Now, to be perfectly honest with you, I'm going to go ahead and stop. But to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not sure if the size of the monitor affects how long it needs to take but from what I've gathered maybe so but we'll go ahead and start a game look at that perfect near perfect now I, you know what I think it's safe to say it's perfect and this is the perfect way to degauss your monitor while without really anything and it's especially good for the arcade community because you get you a lot of people work with speakers and stuff. If you have an extra speaker lying around, just use it as a degausser. You don't have to buy those stupid sixty dollar or even thirteen dollar screw that. Just to degauss a monitor, you may never you know touch again. Especially like me, I, I work with few machines, but I can definitely. I definitely do work on monitors and stuff. And I just got this Vision Pro working. It was not receiving a picture, just uh, soldered the uh, the uh, actual thing back on, the input connector, got it working right. Um, this one has actually been modified to run off wall power, but it works either way, I hacked it. Um, turns right on and works perfectly. So, uh, but yeah, that was just a quick way to uh, degauss your monitor without... Uh, I haven't spent too much money. You can see the colors are perfect now. 
So anytime you get a monitor with a uh, degauss, uh, degauss issue, simply just turn to a speaker. If you're a uh, if you're a, you know a retro person, you don't usually work with speakers or anything. Maybe just tear one out of another TV or anything really. Just tear a speaker out from anything. A uh, really one of these big speakers will do. Those are the best ones. But uh, yeah, just do that and you got yourself a good picture. So I didn't have to spend any money. I mean, I did when I bought the speaker, but besides that, to degauss the monitor, I do not did not need money at all. So thank you guys for watching. It's just a quick method. If you knew about it, then uh, tell me about it. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.